go! Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Election shouldn't be our topic. Onamde Kano's loyal on terrorists attacking Sultan Kaduna. Elections shouldn't be our topic. Onamde Kano's loyal on terrorists attacking Sultan Kaduna. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. He stated these while sharing a report of terrorists attacking Sultan Kaduna with a helicopter on his Twitter handle. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypol, Unam the Kano's special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, has reacted to the terrorist attack in Sultan Kaduna. Ejimako said, the terrorist attack in Nigeria should be the current topic and not the 2023 elections. He stated this while sharing a report of terrorists attacking Sultan Kaduna with a helicopter on his Twitter handle. Terrorists in Nigeria's airspace should be the dominant topic, not 2023 elections, but it is not why he queried. Daily Post gathered that the assailants who invaded the Unguan Gamu Dogon Noma, Unguan Sakil and Maikori communities allegedly with helicopters also burned several houses. The district head of Kufena, Titus Dauda, told Channels Television that the attacks occurred on Sunday and that 32 people lost their lives while a church and several houses were destroyed in the process. Dauda added that the bandits in their large numbers first attacked the gun Noma in the early hours of Sunday, Sunday morning, and killed several people, mostly men, before proceeding to Unguan, Gamul, and Maikori villages, where they also killed people and burnt down houses. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, Onam Dekano's special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, has reacted to the terrorist attack in Sultan Kaduna. Ejimako said the terrorist attack in Nigeria should be the current topic and not the 2023 elections. He stated this while sharing a report of terrorists attacking Sultan Kaduna with a helicopter on his Twitter handle. Terrorists in Nigeria's airspace should be the dominant topic, not 2023 elections. But it is not why he queried. Daily Post gathered that the assailants who invaded the Unguan Gamu, Dogon Noma, Unguan, Sakil and Maikori communities, allegedly with helicopters, also burned several houses. The district head of Kufena, Titus Dauda, told Channels Television that the attacks occurred on Sunday and that 32 people lost their lives 
while a church and several houses were destroyed in the process. Dauda added that the bandits, in their large numbers, first attacked Dogon Numa in the early hours of Sunday morning and killed several people, mostly men, before proceeding to Lunguan, Gamu, and Maikori villages where they also killed people and burnt down houses. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Hype up. Unam Dikano Special Counsel Aloy Jimako has reacted to the terrorist attack in Sultan Kaduna. Ejimako said the terrorist attack in Nigeria should be the current topic and not the 2023 elections. He stated this while sharing a report of terrorist attack in Sultan Kaduna with a helicopter on his Twitter handle. Terrorists in Nigeria's airspace should be the dominant topic, not 2023 elections. But it is not. Why? He queried. Daily Post gathered that the assailants who invaded the Unguan Gamu, Dogon Noma, Unguan Circle and Maikori communities allegedly, with helicopters, also burned several houses. The district head of Kufena, Titus Dauda, told Channels Television that the attacks occurred on Sunday and that 32 people lost their lives while a church and several houses were destroyed in the process. Dauda added that the bandits, in their large numbers, first attacked Dugon Noma in the early hours of Sunday morning and killed several people, mostly men, before proceeding to Lunguan Gamu and Maikori villages, where they also killed people and burnt down houses. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop out the comment section and let us know. What